Gordon Ford would desire late night to have a dual meaning when it comes to Midge Maisel. In episode 4, Gordon pursued Midge and went in for a kiss with her on the ice at Rockefeller Center in front of his entire crew. Really, that's Brosnan skating. Then, in episode 5, he increased the stakes by proposing to Midge and taking her out to dinner. Was Midge actually chosen by Ford because of her humorous skills? Or was the goal always to use it as a ruse to get her attention? Scott laughs as he tells you. I'd say it was probably 60-40. 40% attraction, 60% politics. As they continue their quest, the balance undoubtedly tips. Anyone with sight can see how beautiful Midge is. But Scott believes that Gordon's attraction to her is more nuanced, and based on their complex relationship, as the boss and employee on Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Even though she is attractive, he claims that intelligence and ambition really appeal to him. He immediately recognizes that from her, she is there to challenge the status quo, which first irritates him, but also makes her incredibly alluring. He is a power addict and we can tell by the way he manages the show's version of his personal kingdom. Several late-night hosts of the time, including Johnny Carson, Steve Allen, and Jack Parr, served as inspiration for Scott's role. But Stephen Colbert was another person who particularly inspired him. I hit him up for hours of Zoom conferences, Scott claims, to discover what it's like to wear all these different masks that these hosts have to do, including home life, personal life, professional life while running the show, and then the face that you give America when you're behind the desk. Scott has worked as an actor before in the late night industry. His Veep character Dan Egan worked as a morning show host on cable news for a while. In Mindy Kaling's Late Night, he also played a late night writer. The actor says, I loved mixing up all of my late night heroes with some of the late night and talk show hosts that I played in the past. But unlike Gordon and Midge, none of his characters have completely found their mate. You have to consider that in the perspective of the 1960s this woman who enters this man's environment and begins making her presence known right away, he says. Although that initially confuses him, he soon begins to thrive on it. After realizing that this person is a true compatriot and of similar stock to himself, things quickly get out of hand. Gordon's effort to kiss Midge was, in Scott's opinion, if not premeditated, then at least something he'd been wanting to do for a while. He claims that it had certainly crossed his mind. He was feeling pretty self-satisfied at that time because they were number one. He gave a few drinks as tips before spotting an opening. According to him, this is how he celebrates at work in the year 1961. You become a touch overbearing and forward. This, upon reflection, seems wholly incorrect. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. If you enjoy the video click on the like button. You can also subscribe to the channel for more breakdowns. Thanks for watching. See you next time.